thank you for joining me in reviewing the STAR Campus program. My name is Madison Salk and I am the Public Relations Coordinator at Lead and Lend this year. Part of my job is to answer your questions about everything and anything STAR Campus related, so let's begin. Lead MN created the STAR Campus program over 10 years ago to recognize the work of student senates in advocating for students with the intention that active student senates should be rewarded for best serving their colleges. That's why we've created 12 specific points to help make your senate the best it can be. Now, 12 points may sound a little overwhelming at first, but with attention to detail and hard work, it can be accomplished. The best way to find the STAR Campus points is on the Lead MN website or referring to the end of the survival guide. There, you will find 10 listed points mainly pertaining to participation in conferences, advocacy, partnerships with other campuses, and participation in the scholarship program. Besides that, we as a cabinet have chose two additional points pertaining to the goals that we want to accomplish as student leaders. This year, we have decided to include basic needs agenda and equity and diversity program as a part of the STAR Campus goals. All of these points can be submitted via our website at www.leadmn.org slash star dash campus. There will be instructions on how to fill things out. And since most things are going virtual this year, we ask you to submit a screenshot for most of the things when you're doing a virtual activity. Which, by the way, all of our points can be attained virtually, so there's no need to worry about the uncertainty of holding events in person at your college this year. Now, it may sound hard to keep track of what you have submitted and what you have left to work on, but don't worry, status updates are available the first of every month to keep you informed on what your campus is doing, as well as other campuses in the state of Minnesota. I will also be personally reminding folks on the status is at every conference. So, if you are interested in what your school status is, as far as the history of the STAR Campus program, refer to the STAR Campus winter history. My school, Riverland in Austin, just for example, just got back in the game and won STAR Campus last year. I would recommend that you challenge what the Senate did last year and try to either get STAR Campus again or receive it when the Senate last year did not. Now, you may be asking yourself, why do we do this? I will remind you again that this is all to benefit your school and other students in the state of Minnesota. We want to help your school succeed because leadership can be challenging at times, especially now. So if you are in need of extra motivation, we provide goodies at the end of the year to campuses who have completed this, like signage, tents, table banners, and other really cool Lead MN swag. So, also, if you are ever stuck at any point on this Star Campus program, please don't feel afraid to reach out to me, your PRC. My email is prc at leadmn.org, and I'm here to answer any questions or may um, help you give advice on this stuff. Now, we have also just created a Lead MN Snapchat, and the username is iLeadMN, and I will be answering messages on there too. So, good luck, everyone and have fun with this program this year. I know we might face challenges, but you are not alone. So thank you everyone.